So what's going on everybody? Um, today I wanted to talk to you about my Saddleman step up seat that I have on my Sportster. I feel like I've had this seat long enough now to where I could give you a pretty decent review on if it's a good seat and if it's the right seat for you. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about it. Infinite right, infinite right, infinite right, infinite right. So first things first, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's getting a little low light out here, but the Saddleman seat look good. So let's get on here and go for a ride while I talk to y'all about it. The evening crank. Oh, wait. Yes, 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 yes. Losing daylight faster and faster, I swear. <laughs> that felt good especially after a long day at work gotta come out and ride get a little smile a little smile here a little smile there a little smile everywhere y'all see i got some new gloves non-preferated i think these are the z1r um gloves or whatever <laughs> so my impressions now that I've had this Saddleman seat for a little while I feel like it is it's a great seat for what it's designed for let me put it that way so I've had people ask me you know is the Saddleman seat what are you thinking of the Saddleman seat for like longer rides or touring or going out um, for like you know those extended long rides and the thing is, Saddleman makes a lot of different type of seats. They have all types of seats if you look on their website. It's just that the step up is the most popular. Now, the step up seat is not really designed for those longer rides. It's not a touring seat. It's not made to be like the most comfortable seat in the world, but in its class, it is the most comfortable seat. It's made to lock you in place. And what is the point of locking someone in place? Why do you think so many stunt riders have this seat? It's made for you to stunt on. It's a stunt rider seat. And it has to be one of the most comfortable stunt rider seats because it's comfortable enough for me. And I mean, I'm not a stunt rider at all. I can't pop a wheelie for shit. Maybe one day, but not right now. But I've had it for a while and when you first get it, you'll think the seat is not very comfortable because it's extremely firm until it gets broken in. Mine's been broken in for a little bit now. So it's extremely comfortable now. Like I can, I can stay in the saddle for a lot longer than I could on any of my other seats. Now with that being said, it is gonna be, especially on the Sportster models, it's gonna be more narrow than some of the other seats because of what it's designed for. It's a stunt, stunning seat, a stunt riding seat. It does have a lower lumbar support, but due to the fact that I got a whole lot of booty, you know, um, I could flex that, the back of the seat, but not much, I'm not sliding out. And the good thing is, um, you know it's high quality because it always goes back into its original shape. Now I have had Miss Rada on the back as a passenger before. And what she told me is it's more comfortable than my previous seat, but it's not a good seat for two up riding. It can do the job when need be, but it's not gonna be ideal because it's an extremely small seat, especially for the passenger. Like it's, it's, it's not designed for that purpose. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna fit in that purpose well. If you're looking for a seat that you're looking to do some extended rides on or a touring type of seat, number one, 
if you're looking to do some serious extended rides or a touring seat you shouldn't be on a sportster you know sportsters can do a longer ride here or there but it's not built for comfort it's built to you know zip around town and it's definitely more comfortable than any type of sport bike would be but that's not its main purpose why do i keep coming out when the clouds look like it's about to unleash hail on the earth the fact that this seat has that gel core technology in it makes it extremely comfortable and it's going to mold to you after you break that seat in Woo! just like that when i take off like that i didn't slide around in this seat i was firmly secure and locked in place and that's what the seat's designed for and that's what it's going to do amazingly well it, it's going to hold you in place so if you're popping wheelies or doing some very hard accelerations i can see this seat being a great seat for someone who's drag racing their sportster um or you know their their soft tail or something like that it's a perfect seat for that but it's not designed for a, a extended like eight hour rides riding across country touring but you can do it with it but it's not the best option for that as far as the durability of the seat you know i feel like saddlemen they they did not you know lack on the production at all like it's an extremely durable seat and mine um has the custom red stitching you know i got the diamond pattern and then it's um it, it's diamond pattern throughout the whole thing with the red stitching and that's holding up tremendously well especially with my big ass on here like it's not going flat the stitching's not coming to loose it's holding up and it looks just like it did on the first day i got it the only difference is it's a, it's a whole lot more comfortable now now i've done some pretty long rides on this baby um on my sportster and you know if, if i'm out there way too long because again the sportster isn't designed for extremely long rides then yeah you know I'll, I'll get a little bit sore but i don't even think that has to do solely to do with the seat it's because you know i'm a i'm a bigger guy and it's just basically sitting in this position for a very extended period of time not being able to stretch out as far as i would be able to if i was on a much larger bike that could have a lot to do with it but right now the seat feels extremely comfortable but again it is a more um, narrow design at least on a sportster because i've ridden zach's bike who has a saddleman seat and he's on um, a road glide and it's wider so it'll it'll hold my whole butt in place versus this one you know the the thigh region where it's about to connect to my butt like kind of near the anal area right around there you know my thighs and stuff are hanging off the seat a little bit because it's a more narrow seat but when it comes to doing doing shit like this <laughs> it completely locks you in place you're not going anywhere you don't have anything to worry about so i definitely recommend um the saddleman seat like out of any seat you could get for your sportster i would have to recommend a saddleman I, I mean it's up to you on what design you want to go with i love the look of the step up seat again there's a lot of people that got the step the step up seat i feel like there's way too many people that got the step up seat but they do have other designs too if you'd like to get something different i have to give saddleman mad props for their seats their quality the seat design let me know down below like if you got a saddleman seat what do what do you how do you feel about it do you do you like your saddleman seat it's always fun to come out uh in weather where it makes you feel like you're part of the movie the underworld like right now i feel like all these cars are filled with vampires because it's just that bluish gray settling tint everywhere now i'm not sure if y'all can see it because it's gotten quite dark right now but it's literally like a bluish grayish tint everywhere so when or if this saddleman seat ever completely wears out which from what i'm seeing it looks like it'll last almost the life of the bike would i buy another one hell yeah hell yeah i would you know i would i'd get me another saddleman i love this saddleman seat oh my god what is what is that smell oh god i'm so hungry something smells so good i'm smelling food it's me barrio when i used to eat meat i used to go to me barrio 
and I can smell it. So I'm gonna do the typical Harley takeoff here. You know, this is how Harley riders take off. I learned this from someone else's video. One, two, three, four. Rev it up nice four times and pull off. <laughs> A couple seconds later. <laughs> but if y'all are rocking a saddleman seat or thinking about getting a saddleman seat let me know your thoughts on the saddleman seats and what saddleman seat you're thinking about getting you know help other people who are watching this video if you got a saddleman seat you know tell them about your saddleman seat do you think they should get one i think you should get one but you know let's get more opinions on the subject but i'm gonna go home because i'm hungry and i want to eat so i'll check y'all out in this video right here if you can see my finger but it's your boy Infinity Rider signing out. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe, be blessed, and get out there on two wheels, people. Deuces. Love y'all. And remember, post them, post, post, post them hashtags. G-O-T-O-T-W. Get out there on two wheels.